Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today it's time to do something a little bit more permanent about this spray booth. Okay, so I've finished the 680, I'm just waiting to uh, talk to the engineer and see what I need to do about getting it uh, on the road. So um, I thought it's about time I do something about this spray booth. Now, it has done me well, it has uh, painted uh, two cars now, but um, it's getting a little bit tired. So uh, let me just take you for a little bit of a look. So as you all know, I used it to paint the, uh, the 680, which is looking fantastic, and also the 911, but the booth is looking very tired. If you have a look, it's just, it's, it's covered in dust, and it's just, this is very old and tired, lots of overspray, lots of mess, and um, you know, gaping holes down here now and everything, it's nothing's, connected so I think it is about time we uh, pull this down and uh, do something a little bit better. So as you can see, the old booth is gone. So you might be thinking now, what am I actually going to be doing? My original plan when I put this booth up was, it was a, it's a tent, I can sort of put it up and take it down as I need it, um, as I'm sort of painting things. And originally my plan was to actually put the hoist in the back corner of the garage here. And I realized in the end that I use the booth all the time. It is not worth me putting it up and taking it down all the time. Uh, the more I ramp things up, the more I'm thinking, well, I can actually make this a nice solid structure and have a solid roof on it so I can actually store stuff on the top of it, have a sort of mezzanine floor above it. That's gonna be the best way forward. And also then I can build a solid booth that is nice and sealed so I can actually um, have a uh, proper airtight room. So that is what I'm gonna build. And the first thing I need to do is to start looking at uh, this far wall here and uh, working out how I'm going to connect my roof to the wall on this side. As I've got an existing wall, I'm gonna use that and, uh, and use these supports, but I've gotta connect my uh, new beams up to that. Okay, so let me establish now, I'm not a builder. This is not going to be a full structural floor that you can have dance parties and stuff on. It's going to be just a uh, just for light storage. Nothing heavy is going up there. Um, that said, I had to try and work out a way to attach my uh, timber beams to these steel structures, part there, the steel structure of the shed. What I came up with is, um, in the middle beam, I can actually drill through and uh, and drill through the upright. Um, on these ones, it's it's like a, a C shape shaped section, and I can't get to the other side of that. And I thought the best way to do it would be make up some simple brackets. Um, this bracket basically will bolt onto on like so. And first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bolt them to the board I want uh, up there because I won't be because I want to put the bolt through from the back and I won't be able to put them through once I'm up there, so that's the plan at this stage, is to uh, try and get this, uh, get this started.
All right, so that was a, uh, a lot of work trying to work out how I was actually gonna mount it up. I ended up, I've uh, directly bolted it to the, um, the upright on that end and I made this big complicated bracket on the other end with uh, a bunch of nuts and bolts, but it's all bolted on. It's all super sturdy now. So that's gonna be uh, the support for this side of the booth. I'll move over, do the, uh, do an, the next one along and uh, then I can move on to the fun bit because this is the not fun bit. All right, so I have my rails up. The rubbish bit is done. The bit that I didn't want to have to mess around with because it's really annoying and yeah. Now the fun stuff. I like doing woodworking stuff. So now I need to build a stud wall for the other side of the booth. So um, let's uh, start getting some timbers out and marking things out to work out how I'm going to do it. So now this is the base plate I'm going to use for my wall. Um, it's actually a six meter length already and uh, I actually pulled out another one. It was too warped to uh, leave as that. This one's nice and straight, which is uh, a bit nicer to use as the base plate. I'm going to go now, I'm going to mark my wall out at uh, 600 mil centers. So two feet, if you use these uh, old measurements and um, that'll mark out all of my uprights. I've also got to work out where I want to put my um, personnel door, which will be down the uh, other end, similar to where I had, uh, where I walked in and out of the booth all the time. So I'm gonna go through now and start marking this out and then we can start uh, trying to piece together the wall. All the timbers are marked out. They're all uh, two meters high. It's basically gonna be about uh, just shy of 2.1 meters high. I basically marked it on the height of the standard doors. Uh, that just makes it easy. So uh, it's just, it's, it's high enough for the booth. It's not super high, but it's plenty high enough for me. And um, it also means that I get a bit of space on the mezzanine level. So uh, it's sort of playing with the space that I've got. So now it's, I've got all these bits and pieces. It's just time to lay it out and start Nailing it all together. So some of you may not actually know this, but this is actually uh, what I used to do for a living for, for many, many years, for 13 years before I became a firefighter. I was a professional airbrush artist and did uh, artwork on cars and Harleys and stuff. This is an old bond I did in, um, I'm sure there's a date here somewhere, 2001, so uh, it's pretty old. But uh, this has been kicking around with me for a while, so I'm going to have to move it because I need this space to put up the wall. All right, so now I've uh, nailed together the basic stud frame. Now I need to stand it up and work out exactly where I want it to sit so that it's um, gonna do its job as my wall. All right, frame is up and I've got my first beam just sitting there. Um, basically, I'm gonna have a, a beam per stud all the way along. Uh, they're still gonna be 600 mil centers. They're still gonna be reasonably widely spaced, but uh, again, we're not putting any weight up here. Uh, it should be good. So um, now I'm gonna do all of my, uh, my beams. All right, it doesn't feel like I got a whole bunch done the last couple of days, but uh, the framework is in. The, um, the hard bit is done. Um, now it's uh, a top matter of cladding it and doing the uh, extraction fans and all that sort of stuff. But uh, the main structure is there. Hopefully this should uh, lead to uh, a whole better 
spray painting experience uh, in here so that I have less dust, um, it's a much more sealed uh, area, I can have better lighting, I can have the whole thing nice crisp white. Um, it will be a better way to uh, paint cars leaning, moving forward. Um, the other thing is that uh, it actually gives me more space in the garage because before I always had this little sort of wasted area in behind, now this is actually going to be a, you know, a real space that I can, I can use. All right guys, uh, sorry for a little one today and being late, but uh, that's just the way it is. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right guys, see ya.